Hey guys, welcome back to the ESO channel and part two of Outward. Check out part one, link down below in the description. But today's video is more focused on how exactly to make money on Outward and lots of beginner tips like how to get a better weapon and so on, which we'll be going through today and everything that goes with that. But before we get into today's video, I ask that you just listen to me quickly because I've had a bit of an issue with this game and all of the music on it because all of the music is actually getting copyright claims on my channel. So whenever I upload a video to do with Outwards, this music label called Audium basically copyright claims the video and says, oh, we own the rights to this music, which basically boils down to me not being able to monetize the videos I make, which is really bad for any creator and especially me because this is my full-time job. And I guess it's one of the insecurities that comes with being a full-time YouTuber. And I was actually thinking, okay, well, if I can't make money from playing Outward, then I don't think I'll be able to play it. But after seeing all your comments in the previous video and everyone just was so keen to like watch me do a walkthrough of this. And I mean, I've been enjoying the game as well, so I'm very happy to. And a lot of you guys, you know, support me through Patreon, so it allows me to do stuff like this. And aside from just making any money out of these videos, one of the things that also worries me is the EU has just passed something called Article 13. And part of that article um, means that YouTube will have to react to copyright claims on content like this. And the current way they're dealing with it probably won't work and it may result in them actually just flat out removing things that have been copyrighted on YouTube and not allowing any kind of, you know, content like that to remain on the platform, which is obviously quite a scary thing. So I was actually going to cut my losses and just not edit any of this footage and just, you know, cut it out. But what I ended up doing was just thinking, okay, well, everyone really wants to see it. So I'm going to carry on producing this Let's Play. And if you guys are enjoying it and you like what you see and, you know, you're watching each video, um, please go ahead and donate to me on my PayPal, which is Danny at ESO Limited. Or if you want to go further, you can also donate on Patreon. And for $5, I think it is, a month, I basically try and whenever I can upload uh, my videos early on Patreon um so you guys can see them early there and it's just like a way you can sort of give me additional support and get that early access to stuff advertisement free um on youtube so i just wanted to pretense this video and explain what was going on uh, hopefully things will be resolved in about a month and i'll be able to monetize this content again but um currently it's, it's just a bit awkward for me as a creator to cover this game because you know i've got to make an income and right now i'm just like making nothing so if you guys are enjoying this content please go ahead and do that at the end of the day like if i can't make money from uh playing games then i can't play them it's just as simple as that and as much as i enjoy outward that's obviously a contributing factor but thanks for listening and uh, let's actually get on with the video now so last episode guys we obviously already made a bit of money and the first thing i suggest you spend that money on is a bigger backpack which you can get from the shopkeeper Duran just here. He is sells these bags for 25 gold. Just here, the Nomad backpack. I suggest you buy one of those. That's going to be infinitely useful and you can't really get one for free as well. So just grab one. You can also then put the lantern on the outside of your bag which allows you to use two-handed weapons. So super good investment. I then recommend getting a mining pick from the... Um, loud hammer blacksmith here now depending on which weapon you've chosen to go for uh, i'm personally going to be using the halberd for a little while on this character you can find some customizable options here which are basically crafting recipes on how to make a fanged shield a fanged greatsword and so on which increases the damage uh, that you can do with the weapons and i'll show you where to get the materials for this but i recommend also buying one of these as well now as for your 250 gold blood price um i recommend paying off as soon as possible because what happens and i figured this out the hard way i actually left my game afk not realizing that you can't pause it and um you will lose your house if you don't play your blood price now you can get it back later um but i recommend that you try and do everything you can to make the amount of money you need to pay it off as soon as possible that should be like the first thing you do because you only have like three days to pay it off and if you do fail to pay it off and you lose your house you can get it back later but it costs you 500 gold 
Uh, so it's definitely within your best interest to do that as early on as possible. And I'll go over some other ways of making gold in a moment. But we actually have 250 gold because I already farmed it to make, you know, the start of this video a bit quicker for you guys so we can move on with our adventure. And uh, we're going to head off into the main keep area where you can also find a felling great axe, which is a two-handed weapon. It's pretty decent uh, at the start of the game as well. But um, here we go. We're going to pay off our blood price now. Greetings. How go your efforts? Well, I want to talk to you about my blood price. You have a way to make that payment. Oh, it is 150 silver. Okay, I got it wrong. Not 250. There we go. And on time, too. I'm impressed. You've proven you could be an excellent asset to the tribe when you put your mind to it. I'll see that this money gets to the families that need it most. Thank you for your efforts. Oliel and Izan are leaving Cierzo. So we should go and speak to them because they're leaving the town. Okay. What do you mean they're leaving? What's going on? Oliel is leaving to go join the holy mission of Elat. Nothing I could say would convince her to stay. Good. It's about time you let her go. <laughs> <sighs> you cannot understand what it feels like to have your only daughter forsaken her name and home. I may never see her again. She was born into such an adventurous family, and yet who am I to argue with a literal god? Because the Holy Mission is one of the four factions in the game you can join. And then Yazan. Where's, why is he leaving? He can't be ready for another exhibition already. A blood price has been declared upon his bloodline. Not him too. How can you be so sure? Roland fell asleep on duty. Roland is Yazan's brother, and he was sleeping at the lighthouse. Which is why, obviously, our ship crashed and why we all have these blood prices on our head. Ridiculous. This is unacceptable. Roland accepts the consequence of his actions. Yuzan refuses and has chosen to exile himself from Cicero forever rather than do his duty and play the tribe and bear the blood price. So he's chosen just to exile himself. To be honest, good decision on his part. <sighs> Bitterness solves nothing, Danny. If all of us acted so selfishly, there would be no tribe. We would all be roaming cannibal bandits killing one another like animals. This is far worse a fate than a few individuals repaying the harm they've caused. Come back once you've said your goodbyes to them. Okay, and then we can discuss your future here in Cicero, okay? Well, let's find out what happened to the other guys. I'm not so sure what faction we'll be joining yet, but... I believe there are, there's a different ending, I know for a fact, um, to the game, depending which faction you join. So um, it's quite an important thing to bear in mind um, before you actually go onwards. But um, I think I'm probably going to stick with the, the standard faction um, because there are a few pros to that. So here is Yazan. We can talk to him now and ask him about what happened. I take it you've heard the news? Indeed. Come to see your old pal off? I've got one little fishing barge to my name. And by a lad, I'm going to use it. So he's leaving for the heroic kingdom of Levant, which is in the desert region. The heroic kingdom believes in chasing progress to create a better world. All right, listen up. Why so far away, then? Levant believes that everyone deserves a shot at what they're best at. I take it you're not going to forgive your brother, then, are you? Not in a thousand years. <laughs> Fair enough. Damn it. This is the last time I let his foolishness and clumsiness hurt me. He can go feed a hyena with his own hide for all I care. I'm done with him. Now and forever. Can I come along? I want out of this place too. I'd take you if I could, but you can't swim. Aw. And on a barge that small, you'd be nothing but a liability. Okay, well, I guess I'm not going over there yet, guys. We're gonna have to walk there. If you plan to make the journey to Levant completely on foot, be prepared for a long, long journey. And then he tells us exactly how we can get there, and I can show you guys if you want to join another faction yourself. If you have the courage to face the Abrasar Desert, I'll be waiting for you. Very well. And he has ventured off into the distance on his boat there. Never to be seen again. Okay, so... I'll also be showing you guys where to get some really good armor in this video as well. Um, because one of the gold farming locations I found that was quite effective for me is um, around there. Aha, here she is. I guess this is goodbye. Cicero, I'm leaving this place to join the holy mission. Cicero will miss you. I'll miss it too. 
but I can't come back, not after what my mother and I discussed. Risa has done, done some, some things I can't agree with. She wants me to follow her in her footsteps and I just can't. I already have no desire to be a chamber lady and what she told me, I refuse to consider being a part of it. Hmm. All right, listen. We'll meet again, Danny, unless of course you want to join me. Having someone I trust by my side would make, would make me a lot less nervous. Ah, uh, I think about it. Now we're talking. The holy mission is about more than just working under a manifested god. Or fighting the scourge. It's also about helping everyone regardless of tribe or family. Meh. Have discipline and mastery over yourself. If you do want to join us, meet me in Monsoon in the Hallowed Marsh. And I can show you the direction to that place as well, guys. Once in the marsh, follow the Pilgrim Road. The trail of sun pillars towards the ray of light that flies over the moonstone. Or the monsoon, don't know what that said. So we have a few different options or factions we can join now. But let's go back to Rissa and just see what she wants us to do. I assume join her faction. <laughs> and then that will probably dictate whereabouts we're going to travel to next on our journey. Is that a giant gaping hole in my lighthouse? Who did that? I wonder. Hello, Rissa. There you are. Urgent news just came in. I must be off immediately. I don't know when I'll be able to return. Why? What happened? This is troubling. In Berg, an official council meeting has been called. I'm going to Berg, the main settlement in the Enmakar Forest. The home city of all the tribe's birthplaces of our Blue Chamber Collective. If you're able, I'd like you to meet me there. I have an offer. I do not want to spend- I will pay off the rest of your blood price. Ooh. And adopt you into the Aberdeen bloodline. Ah. Your name will be cleared and your burden lifted forever. Well, my blood, my blood price is still worth thousands of silver. Where is this coming from? It's... complicated. With Alel abandoning her family, I need someone that I can rely on. Someone I can think of as close family. And I want to make sure you never have to face a mob like that again. The Blue Chamber Collective is about coming together as a family. Hmm. The individual pales in importance of the family and the tribe. We will give up a little of what we want, making sure that everyone has what they need to survive. It's your choice. I have a choice? Your life is in your hands. Okay. Can't very well drag you along now, can I? You're an adult. Your life is in your hands. All I can hope is to try and guide and shape you into someone that acts with the Blue Chamber's needs in mind. You will need to prepare travel rations. Okay. Hmm? And she's going to give me some. That's very nice. Listen well. All right. Very well. So now we know how to get there. That's what she told us. Now I look. Oh, I can't look on the map yet. But she's given me some travel rations. Free is enough, I believe, to travel there. Um, you can very easily make travel rations. You just need to combine some food with salt um, in order to get some. And if you want to know how to make salt, all you need to do is, um, I can show you guys later, but get a spare water skin, gather the salty water from the sea there, and then put it over a uh, pot of boiling water. And if you just put the salt water in, it will uh, make salt and clean water. So it's relatively simple and common sense, you know. Uh, to figure out but there you go so guys our next part of the journey will now continue and i'm also going to show you how to make some money along the way so i obviously told you to get the um the crafting recipe for uh, a weapon that can use for a fanged weapon so i'm now going to show you how to get the materials for that if you also have an iron weapon which you probably will by now have some form of iron weapon then uh, that's fantastic as well also, make sure you grab those um, these berries because sometimes you get um, some this like a bug you find in it called a orsha bug or something, and uh, you can actually use that to craft some teas which regenerate lost stamina. You see that gray air gray area of stamina on my bottom left there. We can refill that with certain teas. So I can see some bandits over there. Uh, we can kill them for their. Um, their weapons which can then be sold but it's not crazy good money and the weapons are heavy so in terms of like value to weight ratio it's not great there is a hollow tree trunk just here with a hatchet old lantern and some spike wood which i'm just gonna take that all for now might as well um and also what's this ah a crab eye 
this is a ingredient that if you heat it up um you can actually make it into like a potent poison and then if you combine it with a rag and i'll show you how to make rags uh, later if you don't know yet for some reason um you can make poison bandages so just over there uh, in that clearing you'll find a lot of wolves now i've already killed some of them um just to make this video a bit faster and i needed to use them to farm money um, but you'll find wolves in this clearing and you can kill them all uh, there's also a cave on the other side with some more wolves inside it and uh, a dead adventurer you can loot as well but you can see all the bodies of these wolves that i've killed um, and then from here we're going to go west uh, right now to show you on the map we left the city here and we're like around this area and now we're going west towards this beach just here um you see these dead wolves i killed earlier or i think the hyenas actually but basically these hyenas drop predator bones and hide as well and from that uh you can make let me just you have to unequip your your iron weapon for this so depending what recipe you brought uh, you can make a fanged weapon which is basically the iron weapon two predator bones and also some linen cloth which you can make by um just tearing up any random clothing um and that's going to give you a fanged weapon which as you can see this does 21 damage this does 25 damage and it also inflicts bleeding on weapon on, on enemies which is really good because it makes them do less damage to you as well so we're going to craft that um and now we're going to equip it equip and look how awesome that looks. I feel like I'm playing Monster Hunter. To be honest, I feel like it'd be far less efficient than an actual iron weapon. But at the same time, I'm like, okay, whatever. I guess it works. There's also some uh, eggs here we can grab. Um, and guys, uh, just so you know, um, if you like are being really stingy and you want to save the money, you don't actually need... Uh, we can't get up there. You don't actually need to uh, know the recipe. You can just watch my video and be like... Oh, well, I can. you can just copy the recipe on the screen. Uh, all you need to do is go to here and then go to manual recipe. Then just add the ingredients I just told you and you can make it yourself. So going down that way is going to lead us to the beach. But if you go this way and then you go left, there's actually like a secret little treasure chest you can grab. Um, so I want to show you that. Now, usually these uh, supply crates just have uh, some traps and stuff and that's going to be quite useful to you. So I'm going to grab, yep, so two bandages and some tripwire traps. Now, eight tripwire traps, we could craft some spikes as well. So to craft spikes, you just need to um, gather the tree wood, like so. Um, and then you need to go to crafting. Let's gather some more trees, actually, because I think we need enough to make the spikes. And now we can make the wooden spikes, but it's just four wood. And then you can craft wooden spikes like so. Let's gather some more of this tree. Uh, now, this is kind of like a little backup plan that helps you out a bit when you're trying to take out the creatures down here. But I'm just going to drop down the side here. You can see there's actually a hyena there. It's just... Oh, God, it's attacking. Oh, man. It's attacking the other creature down there. You can slip down this slope. Um, you will take a bit of damage, potentially. I think we could probably just drop down here, though. maybe if i'm very careful if you can like slide down like so oh jesus christ i've lost a quarter of my health bar and there's some big enemies here killing each other right that wolf is dead i don't know if he's seen me yet okay i want to just quickly have some tea here while i'm sneaking and i'm also going to have some food so i can start regenerating my stamina okay so this crab is what we want to kill actually and he does know I'm here. He's not an idiot. There's another hyena on him, though. This has actually worked out really well. I'm going to let him kill everything. And then I'll come up behind him and finish the job. I'm going to kill a few more of these. So if you need to kill them solo, I'll show you how to do that as well. He doesn't know I'm here yet. Now, I could make traps, but I think I can probably just handle him, to be honest. Let's just eat some more food because I want to make sure there's a little plus health bar at the bottom there. And if we also take some bandages, we get even more health regen from that there we go okay so there he is now okay what you want to wait for oh god damn wait 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 let's just drop our bag here we don't need that right now he's coming over here that's good right you want to tab onto him he's gonna 
Oh, he doesn't see me yet. He doesn't see me yet. We're good. Wait for him to go. Yep, there and roll. Just try and avoid that damage. Good. Okay. This is going really well. Now we've staggered him. Probably almost finish him off just by spamming attack here. I'll show you how to deal with another one of these guys in a moment. But they have that... Look, they use insects... Lose insect husks and lava eggs. Um, both of which are worth money. Um, and you can farm them on this beach down here. Uh, let's grab our bag again. And you'll see what obviously killed the hyena for us. Don't know where it is now. It's around here somewhere. It died, didn't it? Where is it? Oh, here it is. Uh, so let's loot this bad boy. Predator bones. Um, all can be sold for a lot of money. So uh, make sure you grab that. Now, um, if you guys remember last episode, we actually came down here. That cave exit leads into the Cicero storehouse, okay? So that's how you get back there. Um, and there is another dead hyena here, which we can also loot. Now, if you are struggling, as I said, I'll show you how to make some poison and stuff later. I don't think my character really needs it, but um, we're going to take all this stuff. Um, and then there's another hollow log that you can loot, weather defense potion and an ice rag. Don't really need that stuff right now, but it's useful nonetheless. Um, so now we're going to take out this one. And I'm just going to do this solo just to show you guys how I would do it. Um, you can lay some traps if you like, but I don't think I need to. So usually I like to sneak around behind it because then he's not going to use his ranged attack, which you have to roll from. Um, take off your bag, of course. So if we can sneak up behind him, then it just allows me to get like a few extra attacks on him before he might see me right now no he doesn't we're good we're good so there you go there's that range attack and he hit me with that which hurts like a motherfucker i'm going to use my ability there to stagger him so he can't use that ability again and i should he's hit me once there could have rolled past that but we're good and i'm actually my character's currently confused and bleeding so i need to go back to my bag quickly uh we need to put on some bandages right now. Sometimes it's good just to put these bandages in your pocket anyway. Because, um, you know, you need them at the end of the day. Uh, and I'm also going to eat this. To slowly refill our health. The more things you like eat, you get like a little bit more health regeneration. That is slow, but later on I'll show you how to make a health potion. Insect husk. Take that. Take that with you. And we're literally going to be farming these creatures on the beach here. You can use a bow and arrow and other techniques to take them out. But um, you also find some seaweed, which is good for ocean fancies or whatever they're called. Um, and if you also bring along with you a fishing spear, which I think I've already brought earlier. Did I buy one? Oh, God, I don't think I brought it with me. I'm an idiot. Um, but if you walk along the shore here, you'll see that there are sometimes some fish... Uh, which you can obviously loot. Oh, who's this? There's a, a small man here. Michael. I can't... I can't move. A pistol shrimp got me. I think it tore a hole in my gut. Please help before it comes back. I don't have anything that can help. I'll look for something. Hang on. Hold still. I have a bandage. Let's help him out. I can feel it working. Oh, thank you, lad. I'm not going to die here. So he saved his life. <laughs> Thanks a bunch. And now we have a writ of a tribal favor. Ow. I don't think I'm fit to run back home just yet. Now, to be honest with you, we could pro probably could have used this to... And you guys, you can actually use this to pay off your debt as well, uh, which will save you 150 gold. I don't know what I can use it for now. I've already paid off my debts, but um, I guess we'll find out in a moment. So yeah, just carry on walking along the beach here. You'll eventually see some little splashes just here. And then you can harvest some fishies. But um, we're going to go take out this thing over here. As you can see, if I look at my character stats though. Currently, I'm still confused for another minute, which in reduces my impact resistance. Let's drop our bag here.
There we go. We're in. Boom. And we stunned him as well, which is perfect. Ow. Now, obviously, you can just start dodge rolling and stuff, but I've got enough food to, to not bother, to be honest. Um, and he's also got some blue sand, which I'll... Sh this is another reason we came to the beach, because, uh, and I'll show you guys what we can do with that in a moment. But um, let's use these bandages as well. Now, if you guys want to make more bandages, go to the crafting bit, get two pieces of linen, like so, and then just craft it, and there you go, you can make a bandage. So I'll make a few of those. Infinitely useful bandages. Have a better health regeneration than anything else. Um, I do believe there's also a cave in this area here, which I'm going to check out. Um, now, I think that the things that spawn in caves are pretty random. But this one just... I don't really know the purpose of it. I know that sometimes if you die, you can spawn in a cave. And I think this is what this cave serves as in terms of its function. But um, I'm not sure. So here we go, we're inside. And if you look, it's just like, there's nothing here. But yeah, I don't, I don't really know what the point of this cave is. So here we are, we're back outside and we're gonna carry on heading down this beach. You'll see, I think about like four or five of these uh, giant crab ass creatures here. Um, I will show you how traps work later, but I don't think we really need them right now. Another thing you might notice, if you kind of look at this angle, you might see some sparkling blue stuff. Um, oh, look, here's some fish. So, look, you can hold F to gather the fish. I didn't bring a harpoon with me, but I 100% recommend you do because that's another source of money um, to pick up those fish. But you might notice a few sparkling areas. They're very rare, but um, blue sand will sometimes spawn on the beach. And sometimes you can also get blue sand. Another method I'll show you later. Um... So let's take this guy out right now. There we go. Oh, I missed the second shot. That's really annoying. There we go. We got him down. This is it, boys. Get wrecked, Mr. Crab. Oh, yes. Just before he hit me. Uh, we are knackered off for that fight, but hey, it went really well for us. Um, okay, let's go back here. Uh, the reason blue sand's really good, by the way, guys, uh, you can make some cool wizard robes from it and some armor and scissor roll as well. So I 100% recommend picking it up. How many crabs we killed now? Like four? And this is the fifth one over here, I believe. They're super strong, but like, you know, you're very able to do it once you have the equipment and the timing. Now, you can go for like a more fast attacking weapon, but I actually prefer... You can get a spear as well, which is like more of a stab attack. But this weapon has such a big sweep. If you're against more than one enemy, I just think it's like infinitely useful. Uh, let's go ahead and drop a bag just here. I'm going to sneak up on this guy. Here he comes. There we go. Get Rex some. See, I can see that grey bar and I know I'm about to stagger him. So I can just carry on attacking, knowing that he's not going to be able to hit me. Uh, obviously, I let him hit me on that last one, though, just because I wanted to finish him off. Uh, let's go and get another bandage. So yeah, this is obviously taking its toll on my character. He's getting pretty tired right now. But um, we're not far away from home anyway. I'm going to use this bitter spicy tea, which I'll show you how to craft later to uh, get my stamina reserves back. And I'm also going to whip out another bandage so we're not bleeding. Um, okay, great. And there's a, I swear this one just spawned back. You see, these guys seem to have like a really high spawn rate, which is why like I recommend coming down here because... You can literally kill them all, go back to sleep, and then they're back again. Um, look, this is like... He's literally just spawned back here. It's really strange. There we go. He zapped me there, guys. Roll. Oh, man. He dodged my special attack. That's super annoying. 
go, he's dead. We've got him. My character's getting pretty low now, so we might be heading back soon, guys. Where did I put my bag? Oh, it's just here. This is also a problem. I always keep an eye on where you put your bag. And sometimes if you're not so sure you can handle the enemy, you want, might want to put it in like a position where like you're going to run back over it. Um, because otherwise it's quite easy to lose. Okay, so we're doing well. There's another one over there. And sometimes there's a blue sand that spawns around here. So I'm going to check that out as well just in case. To give you guys an idea, by the way, like the next place to go after you've paid your blood price is... The Hallowed Marsh is this way, if you want to join the uh, the Holy um, Servants. Or the forest which we're going to go to is the Blue Chamber Collective um, meeting area. I recommend you go here. Um, and then I think the desert, you need to go to the forest area. Then you need to travel north from there, so it's actually quite a trek. Um, but every time you travel, you, like, use travel rations. Uh, so that's, like, it costs, like, free travel rations to travel somewhere. And these travel rations, like, decay really slowly in your inventory. So you don't need to worry about them too much. But um, let's start taking this guy out over here then. Oh, oh, wow. Did it just, I thought it instantly killed the chicken. Oh, boy, get wrecked, son. Oh, I tried to dodge that and failed. Massively. Boom! Get wrecked, son. There we go. Finish him off now. Easy. Where's that chicken thing? I don't want it to... Those chicken things, like, genuinely, they look like crappy little enemies. Like a chuckabo from Final Fantasy. But they're actually super annoying. Uh, right, what do I want to do... Yeah, I'm good. I don't need to, like, bandage or anything. We've got our health regeneration ticking. If you guys want to check, just go to your stats. Um, you can see health recovery 2, health recovery 1. Um, and, yeah, that's just, like, refilling our health. And I've also got my stamina recovery still going from the T as well. So you just want to have all these, like, effects constantly ticking over on you just to help out. Um, and here we have... What's this? Some more seaweed. Yay. Wish I brought my harpoon. We could have made a bit of extra cash. Aha, here we go. This is the example I was looking for. You'll see this blue sparkly area. And if you come over, you can actually hold F and you gather blue sand. Extremely rare. And we've also got a gem there as well we've picked up, which is super good. So, goddamn, give me that stuff. So now and again, you'll come over areas that have that blue sand in. Um, and over there in the distance, you guys can see there is a ship and a fortress. We will be visiting that fortress at some point, guys, in the future. But first, we need to take out this boy over here. There we go. Oh, man, I missed the second attack. That's so annoying. You'll get used to the combat in this game. Like, it takes it takes a while, and I'm not going to lie, you're going to die a lot. There we go, he's dead. Take all. And the sun is setting, guys, so it's going to be time to head back soon. Uh, where's my bag? Where did I put my bloody bag? There it is. So as you can see, though, unless I sleep, my health is not going to regenerate, or I can also use a health potion, which will allow my health to regenerate. There are some hyenas over there. There's two of them I can see. I want to... Let's... How much weight do I... I have 41 out of 50 on my bag. So I can carry some more stuff. But this is what I mean about, like, the Nomad bag. Because I can carry, like, loads of stuff now. And it's, like, super useful to me. Um, because, you know, it means that each trip is going to be more worth my time to make. If that makes sense. Wait until these guys jump at you. Because they always jump back like that. And it's like a little faint attack. I managed to hit him there because I knew he was at the side so I can knock him down and now he's dead. But the worst thing ever, and the AI is quite smart in that regard, like trying to take on two of those guys is so annoying, man. Like, it's the worst thing. There's two of them up there and I don't want to fight two of them because they surround you and they literally just absolutely decimate you. And you can't like block from two different angles. 
another thing about blocking which i think some people don't understand is like when you block in this game it reflects 100 percent of the damage even shield or no shield which is why i think two-handed weapons do more damage bigger attack arc i feel like it's got more pros than cons but anyway we're gonna head back to scissoro which you can always see from the lighthouse over there currently we're here we walked all the way down the beach we're literally at the end just here so he walked all this way and all these creatures respawn on this beach every few days so you know just carry on farming them make tons of money so i'm back in scissoro we'll be going back to where we were again in a moment but firstly i just wanted to show you how much money we kind of made in this little trip and I just wanted to show you, well, we got a lot of meat, so obviously I want to cook some stuff. Bitter spicy tea is made with one clean water and one of these spice beetles, which you randomly get whenever you pick any berries. It's super good because it restores your stamina. So we're going to make as many of these as possible and carry them around with us. And you can also make some soothing tea with seaweed and clean water. And this basically cures common colds and restores mana, but my character doesn't really need that. You can also make travel rations. Um, with any kind of meat and salt and I'm going to make six travel rations because we're going to be using those uh, later on. Another thing you can do guys is you can use the bird eggs and just cook the eggs so you don't get any illnesses from eating them. Uh, I recommend doing that. You can do the same thing with the raw meat as well. Just cook everything. And here guys we have the crab eye seed. So put that in and if you cook it then you get this um, new type of seed which basically is potent with poison so now what you do you go to crafting you add in the grilled crab eye seed and some random linen cloth that you have spare and if you craft that you get poison rags now poison rags can be um, put on your weapon they last for about a minute or so when you rub them on it and then it just slowly poisons your enemies which is actually like super powerful so i recommend doing that guys now we're going to head downwards into town and we're going to sell all the stuff we brought because i've got tons of stuff and it's weighing me down and we don't want that in our next adventure we literally just want to take the bare essentials with us doesn't matter which merchant Is you sell this to by the way need? so as you can see predator bones are worth eight gold each blue sand's worth 14 gold but i suggest not selling it uh, i'm going to sell this other crap we don't need we only need one lantern right now Personally, the weather defense potions, you don't need them at the moment. They sell for quite a bit, so we're going to sell those. Any meat you don't need, guys, I recommend just putting it in your chest in your house because then it doesn't actually go rotten. It, like, freezes it. It's almost like a fridge. And we don't need this hide either, so I'm going to sell it for five gold each. And these husks are worth nine silver each. And we've got eight of those, so we're going to sell that. Um, and then we also found this tiny aquamarine which is a type of gem, so I'm going to sell that. You can also sell the writ of the tribal favor for 45 gold as well, guys, if you want to. So just selling the stuff we found there on the beach very quickly, we've made 196 gold. Easy money, guys, easy money. And you can just sleep a few days and all that stuff respawns anyway. And now, guys, I'm going to show you all the fish spawn locations. Before you start, though, um, by the alleyway just here, you'll find a junk pile, which always has a random, like, clothes and stuff in take all of that and then what you want to do is you want to um add it to your inventory and just rip it up into linen and cloth and that's basically how you get cloth some of you were asking me uh so that's how you do it you just rip that up and now you can use two of those to make some more bandages or whatever else poison rags whatever you need so the first spawn point is just here just hold f gather some fishies boom and we got some blue sand. Now, it's a random event, like, you know, whether you get blue sand or not. But uh, we need this fish for one of our crafting recipes. Um, another spawn point is just here. Boom. And we got some seaweed and raw salmon that time, which is nice. Then the last one is just in here. Uh, it's in this little section here. I think there's one more, uh, which I'll show you in a second. So we're going to grab that. And we also got some workers' boots. It's really weird. It's never happened to me before we want to drink the rest of our water and now what we can do is we can gather salt water so gather salt water make sure you don't hold down f because if you hold down f you drink the salt water and it's got a high chance of giving you a disease there's also a hatchet or a machete here if you want to just grab it and sell it you might as well like there's no reason not to um right so now we need to uh, head over here 
and go upstairs because there's another really important thing you're going to want to do uh, when you have some money. Uh, it's pretty one of the first things I recommend you do actually. Uh, run over to this this guy here, the Kazite warrior, Amber, my friend, and ask him to train. And he's got this ability here called fitness. Increase your maximum health by 25 and the amount of health you restore while sleeping by 20%. Amazingly useful. Also, the steady arm and shield charge ability is also really good. Um, I recommend getting steady arm as soon as you can afford it. 50 silver. And just when you're blocking with any weapon, it increases your impact resistance. So it's super good. Uh, this shield charge ability is really good as well. This ability costs 500 gold, which we don't have yet, but increases your stamina, uh, health, and mana by 15 each. So it's it's decent, but it requires one skill point. And he also has some very expensive uh, magical abilities you can use as well. Um, I'll show you how to get his shield later, by the way. Um, okay, so we've done we're done there, guys. We're done there. Now we need to make a fire, and I usually like to make one. Uh, just in the town center here because the amount of times you use the same fire is quite common so we need to craft the fire with free wood like so and then we can set up the fire just here boom uh, and then i'm going to light it and i'm going to get my camp stove out put that on top like so uh, and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to add in my salty water and now from that I get five clean water and five salt added as well. And it's just the cheapest way to make salt in the game. And I'm also going to make some more bitter spicy tea, mate. And I'm going to stop today's video here. But in tomorrow's video, I'll be showing you several hidden little locations quite out the way that you can find some easy loot and treasure to grab along your adventure. And then we'll also be going to the forest area and continuing the main quest line in joining one of the factions and i'll show you how to get some cool weapons and whatnot and some spells but um thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed this video again my patreon and paypal are linked down below in the description if you're interested and you got to the end of the video and you find you found this helpful um i really appreciate your support there as well but thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next video goodbye and have a fantastic day